in the tenth and final trial of Avraham, Hashem comes to the patriarch and says, Avraham, take your son, your only son, the son that you love, Yitzhak, and offer him as an offering on the mountain that I will show you. And Avraham's response to this is, Hineni, here I am, Lord. And our sages tell us that this is the response of righteous people, of holy people. They are ready to act for Hashem. It's as if they're saying, absolutely, I'm here, I'm at your command, whatever you want me to do, I will do. We find at least two other examples of this. Moshe Rabbeinu, our teacher Moses, when Hashem called to him, he answered, Hineni, here I am, at your service. I am ready to go and to work for you and to be your humble servant, to take the Jewish people out of the land of Egypt. And yet another example, the prophet Samuel, when he was a young lad working in the Mishkan in the tabernacle, his mother had taken him there because she took a vow that her son would work in the tabernacle. Well, it so happened that one night he heard the voice of Hashem and Shmuel answered, Hineni, here I am, Lord. I'm ready. I'm here at your service. Again, this is the answer. This is the response of righteous people. But what's absolutely incredible is that we find this the other way around. Usually it's human beings who are saying to Hashem, I'm ready, I'm here, I'm at your service. But there is one place in the entire Jewish Bible where Hashem says to the Jewish people, I'm at your service. Just call on me and I will do what you want me to do. And where is this? In a very, very surprising place. In the Haftarah that we recite on the morning of Yom Kippur, the prophet Yeshayahu tells us, what is a real fast? A fast is not just where you beat your chest and you fast and you put on sackcloth, but where there's true contrition, there's true regret, and where there's social justice between people. And that you look after people, you look after the poor, you bring them into your home. If you can't give somebody charity, at least you speak to them in a kindly way. And if you do this, the prophet promises all types of incredible rewards. But then he says, umib sarcha al titalaim. Don't forget your own flesh, meaning don't forget your own family. And if you don't forget your own family, Hashem says, Hineni, here I am, I am at your service. How do we get Hashem, so to speak, to be our servant and to do our bidding? It seems to be simple. Don't forget your family. Don't forget your own family. Now, as simple as this may sound, it's actually very, very complex. Because often for people, it's easier to deal with those who are further from them, to do kindness to them. There's a famous story of a rabbi in our generation who is a very good person, who is always available for absolutely everyone, day and night, 24-7, always available, taking phone calls. And one day, his little child knocked on his door, and the father said, come in. And the, the child said to the father, Abba, I'd like to make an appointment with you so that I can spend some time with you. And then he realized he had been giving so much of his time to other people that he had left his own family. And sometimes people give charity to this organization, to that organization, not realizing that charity begins at home. And that if you've got a family member who's in crisis, you are obligated before anybody else to look after them. And yes, it is, can be difficult. And yes, sometimes family members can be very annoying. But think of what the prophet Yeshayahu tells us. If you do not ignore your own flesh, your own family, God will say, here I am. I am at your service. It's the only place in the entire Jewish Bible where he says this. This is an important lesson that we should keep in mind. And I wish you all a Shabbat Shalom.